if you do not, <laughs> if you do not get ratings up on the show tonight, you're out of here. Done. History. No, this is my show. Ah, it's my show. Get your act together, or you're fired. This is my show. <laughs> Listen, Diego. It's Diego. Whatever. Look, the last couple of shows, you've been focusing your camera a bit too much on those other people and not enough on me. Well, I've got to give those other people camera time whether you like it or not. This show is about them and not so much about you. So I guess it's kind of like their show. <laughs> so there's me rock. <laughs> really cares about the contestants. If there's no host, then there's no show. I'm the host, and this is my show. Come right now. We're on in ten. Just keep the camera on me, and you might live to see another day. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to The Dating Game. Tonight's show is a bit different than the others, because tonight's lucky bachelor is a hot rising star who's not only got Hollywood going crazy, but the hearts of our bachelorettes, too. Let's get right to it, then. It's time to meet tonight's lovely bachelorettes. And here they are. Bachelorette number one is a sweet, down-to-earth single who loves going to church and baking pies with her grandmother. Here she is, Lola uh, Bianca. Am I pretty? I can. I don't. Am I pretty? Uh, our second bachelorette has got nothing but school spirit. She's the captain of the cheerleading squad. She likes bunnies, rainbows, and unicorns. Please welcome Jessica. Ready? Okay, please. Recycle, please, please, recycle. R E. Cycle, recycle. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Our third and final bachelorette is the president of the Taylor Black is Epic fan club and has read the Twilight series over 730 times in the past year. Let's welcome Cassidy. Uh, well then. Okay, so in order for our special celebrity voucher not to hear a word about our beautiful young ladies. We've kept him backstage in a soundproof room, and now it's time to bring him out. He's one of Hollywood's talented young actors. He snatched up leaning roles and gasped, that's my brother and flipper boy. He loves working out and watching his own films. Here he is, the one and only, Jesus Perus. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> We're glad to have you on the show, Jesus. Of course you are. I'm a celebrity. Who wouldn't want all of this? <laughs> Fabulous. Yeah, by the way, Kevin, I want everybody to see my face. You know, I want them all to just wake up and look in the mirror and just bam! <laughs> there it is. Okay, Jesus, this is how it's going to work. There are three loves. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely young women on this side of this wall. You're going to ask them all different questions and then they'll give you an answer. When you think you've asked enough questions, we'll send you backstage to finalize your decision. Then we'll announce the lucky lady who will want to date with you. You got that? Who was that? <laughs> you got that? <laughs> well, now that we're all ready, let's start the show. All right, chick number one. So what do you look for in a guy? Honesty, so that way you don't have to find the guy that you was gonna marry. Getting down with your trash blonde bimbo cousin in the freaking bathroom. 
on the day of your wedding daddy's All right. Act number two. If you were stranded on a deserted island in the middle of the South Pacific, what would you take with you? Okay. Well, like, like what's in Island? <laughs> <laughs> All right, sweetheart, it's a piece of land that's surrounded by water. <laughs> yeah, so if you were stranded on one, what would you take with you? Oh, like, duh! Pom-poms, a super cute mini skirt, and... Oh, like a tie wow workout video, because he's so hot! <laughs> <laughs> really? Not even, like, food or water or, like, like a raft? I can totally get those things in the mall, silly. Oh my god, it totally reminds me of this year. No. Ready? Uh, okay. Let's move on to the next question. Thank you. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Check number three. Uh, let's see. If we were out to the movies together, which one of my movies would we see? <laughs> well, actually, your quality of films are so low that most of them have gone straight to DVD. Where someone amazing like Taylor Lautner could have his movies in theaters for ten weeks, while well, most last only four before dropping out as blockbusters. Excuse me, Taylor, whatever his face, is just a stupid mutt who's ugly and can't act. Wait, no, he is buff. Though. Let's see, he is quite buff, real, real buff, real, real tight. <laughs> but he's stupid. He's he's stupid and he can't act. Uh -huh. Wow, besides the buff part, that was the most hurtful thing you could ever possibly say. Damn right. <laughs> he is a werewolf, not some ugly dog you find on the streets. If you insult Taylor, then you insult me because I'm a werewolf too. You're a what? I know it's hard to understand. <laughs> and it would be difficult for us to have a stable relationship when at any moment I could rip your face off. <laughs> but that's a risk I'm willing to take. Okay, um, no, she's not going to be ripping my face off because I'm out of here. Head <laughs> <laughs> on backstage and make your decision. Don't touch that remote, folks, because when we return, we're going to learn a little bit more about our lovely bachelorettes. <laughs> and clear. What the hell, Diego? What? <laughs> this is my last shot with the show. The station is getting ready to pull off the air, and I worked too damn hard for someone like you to get in my way. What the hell are you talking about, Kevin? Keep the camera on. We'll do. Got it? <laughs> Welcome back to The Dating Game. Before the break, we sent Jason backstage to make his final decision, and while he's doing that, we're gonna get to know the girls a little bit better. Let's start out with bachelorette number one. Uh, Bianca, tell us a little about yourself and why you're here on the show. Well, I was raised by my mom. I was a, a good kid. <laughs> I didn't take crap from nobody. And then, two weeks ago, I met the love of my life. Do what? <laughs> you see, we was gonna go elope in Vegas. <laughs> but shoot, we ain't got no money. So then, we was gonna get married at the coast. I know it real well. <laughs> and then I find him getting down with his blondie, my blonde, whitey, trash, bimbo cousin, freaking bathroom on the day of our wedding on the floor. <laughs> Oh, I'm very sorry. You should be. What happened now? I don't just sorry, yeah. Mama didn't raise no fool. <laughs> That's why I came here to find me a new man. 
Uh, wonderful. I know. <laughs> Great. Uh, I know. Jessica, same question. Well, I like always knew that I'd be like a popular cheerleader since I was like a little kid. Like I got my first pair of pom poms when I was like five. And like I'm so pretty that I was always popular in school. So like yeah. Uh, and you're here because? Okay, why? <laughs> why are you here, Jessica? Well, I can never stay with like one guy, so I can here to find the one. So I really hope Jason gives me the rose tonight. Jason? Yeah. The rose. <laughs> Finally, it's Cassidy. Tell us about yourself. Well, I graduated at the top of my class with high honors. I went to Harvard Law School and served as a lawyer for two years. Really? Harvard? No. <laughs> but I did go to college for a time. But then I dropped out because I read Twilight. <laughs> After months of doing nothing but reading and rereading and watching the movies over and over and over again, I knew that my education was over. I dropped out of college and started the Taylor Black is Epic Fan Club. It's a tribute to both Taylor Lautner and Jacob Black. Twilight consumes me. I spent every hour of my day learning everything there was to know about Twilight, Taylor Lautner, and Jacob Black. I sort of became a stalker, and now Taylor has a restraining order against me. <laughs> I got one of those too. <laughs> and the only reason I'm really here is because my therapist thinks that a break from Twilight would be good and healthy for me, but I think otherwise. Well, uh, thank you for but sharing. But they cannot keep him from me forever. We are meant to be werewolf and werewolf. Uh, whoa, whoa, hang on, what the hell is that? <laughs> First of all, I wouldn't date any of these freaks. No way. Take that back. Except you with the pom poms. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your decision, no. Jason? No, they're not good enough for me. <laughs> I'm leaving and I don't have to do anything. <laughs> oh, come on. Jason, hey, this is hey, this is hey, I am not going to lose this interview. Oh, this is my show. This is my show. Good night, folks. Have a great evening. We'll see you next time. Maybe? <laughs> This is my show! <laughs> <laughs>